Hey Disney Cars Collectors, welcome to another Collectors Hangout video presentation. In this presentation, we're going to talk about Case Y. Now, I'm hearing rumors that there's an alternative Case W with a Super Chase in it, but there's no confirmation on that, so we're not going to even talk about that until we have any more information. And once I know for sure, I'll put an update in the comments box below. Now you can officially say that this case has been released as of February 19th of 2014. In this case, we're going to see a lot of re-releases that have not been released in a while. So for many collectors, if you don't already have some of these uh, die casts, you will see them as new pieces. In this case, there is also a Chase Edition car, which we'll talk about a little later. And here are some of the cars that I thought were highlights from this case. And I think you should pick up if you don't already have them. But most likely you'll pick them up anyway because they're not easy to find. Now let's take a look at some of the highlights that are from this case. First off is Vladimir Trunkov. Matthew True Blue McCrew. Carla Velasso. Wheelwell Guido Lizzie and last but not least the Chase Lee Race and this is Vladimir Trunkov I did not see him released often in 2013 although he was already released so this is just something to show you if you need this particular casting you can get him now and he's part of the case Y Looking at the back of Vladimir Trunkov's packaging, we'll take a look at some of the other Lemons releases that will be coming out this year. And you'll notice here Acer with headset, which has already been released in the first case of 2014, which was Case T, and you can see that in my previous video. Vladimir Trunkov, which is in this case, in the case, the case Y. And Tubbs Pacer, I guess we'll see him throughout the year. And that's not a new release. And you should look out if you haven't received Alexander Hugo with Party Hat. This was a Kmart K-Day Cars Collector Day special car. And if you did not attend that event, you will not be able to receive this car. But now I guess Mattel is releasing him into the main line. And Ivan was also a Kmart promotion car for 2013 and now he's being released into the main line so those are just some notes about the lemon series in 2014 so look out for these cars in the year coming and this is Carla Velasso which was released in 2012 she was not released in 2013 so now for 2014 you'll be able to get her from case Y and she is part of the World Grand Prix series. If you see that there, World Grand Prix. And she's number 12 of 15. And she is one of the racers in the movie. Now, earlier in Case T, she was released as a Carla Velasco with Flames. Coming from the scene where a lot of the racers were, turned into, were, were on fire, she had flames coming out from the back. And this is Carla Velasco. We'll take a closer look there. You see some of her designs. You probably have already seen her. And just so you know, you can pick this up from the Disney store. I believe she's still available there in a 143 scale. This is a 155th scale. And here are some of the other cars in the World Grand Prix series. Most of these cars have already been released in 2013. So some of them you might still see on the pegs. So there's nothing new here. And this is Carla Velasco. This is Matthew True Blue McCrew. And looking at him, what did you notice about him? What stands out the most about this car? Is it his size? That he's very small. Or is it the big flag that he has waving that says the king 
Yep, that's what stood out for me when I first saw him. And that's basically what he is. He's a big King fan. And this little guy lives, bleeds, does everything the King. Everything in his house is painted blue, even the light bulbs. So this little guy is a big fan of the King. And he's even painted blue. <laughs> so uh, you can tell his dedication. Now, the casting is very simple, not, nothing to him. He doesn't have a license plate on the back. You can see that there. Very small casting at that. And uh, he's not a unibody. If you can see that there, he's a, he has a two-part front, which is probably some of the older castings which they're bringing back. And he goes right along the lines with the Racing Sports Network. And you can see that here with Timothy two-stroke kind of like along the same lines as Matthew he's a knight this uh, Timothy two-stroke is a Lightning McQueen fan and True Blue McCrew is a King fan now this has already been released in the case T so if you missed it you might still have a chance I've seen still some around in the different stores you can probably still pick this up but back to the focus of case Y which is Matthew True Blue McCrew, which is one of the uh, fans in the stands, and that's where he plays a role in the movie. Here are some of the other releases. Now, most of these have already been released. The only two are Todd Pizza Planet Truck and Cora Copper. Those are the only two missing in this series. Everything else has already been released for 2014, as you see pictured here. And this is Matthew True Blue McCrew. And as a side note, here are some of the other fans in the stands. This is a Target set that was available exclusive only to Target, of course. And here we have another King fan, which is Polly Puddle Jumper. I'll give you a closer look at that. So if you're building a collection, just just wanted to make note of that so that you can add this to your collection. And some of these other guys, that's the Piston Cup fan, and I don't know what fan he is, but th this is a cool set to have. And you can pick this up at Target. It's called a 7-car gift pack, uh, the Piston Cup gift pack. And this is very limited availability now, since this, from, this is from 2013. So if you can find it, great. If not, well, I just wanted to make mention of that. Now here we have Wheelwell Guido and if you remember from Cars 2 during the Mel Dorado show this particular scene happens when Lightning McQueen is talking to Miles Axelrod and Francesco Bernoulli on the phone and they're having like a conference during the, the Mel Dorado show and Lightning McQueen basically tells him that his crew is out and he doesn't want to race. Well, you have to see the movie. I'm only paraphrasing so you can get the exact quote. So, quickly, Guido puts out a sign. If you can see that there, he lowers his sign and he basically says, Team Lightning McQueen, right after Lightning McQueen says that his team is away for the moment. This basically indicates that his team is back. And that's exactly what he tells Miles Axelrod and Francesco Bernoulli that looks like his team just got back in. So that starts Cars 2, the race in uh, the different uh, overseas World Grand Prix. And I'm not sure why they wrote Equipo El Rayo McQueen, which in Spanish is a translation for Team Lightning McQueen. I don't remember seeing that in the movie. If somebody can help me out with that, I even tried doing some research on the internet about that. And I don't understand why why they put this sign here in Spanish. Uh, that, that doesn't make any sense to me. But that's just so you see this. Uh, he has some wine bottles there. And the reason why you see these wine bottles is because this is after that scene where Sally and Lightning McQueen are on their date or date after uh, Lightning McQueen getting back from his last race 
And this is number three of nine in the Mel Dorado Show series. And here we have some of the other cars that are going to be released in that series. Here we have Will Will Guido, which we just spoke about. Lee Race, which we'll talk about in the next two cars. And Hudson Hornet Piston Cup Lightning McQueen, Mel Dorado, and Waiter Mater. Now, Mel Dorado has not been released since 2012, so later on this year, look out for him because he's a, he's a, he's a good, cool car to have. I, I just like the way he looks. And this is Wheel Well Guido for the Wheel Well Motel. This is Lizzie, and she hasn't been released since, I think, about 2012. And maybe a year and a half to two years now, time since we haven't seen her on the pegs. But now she's available in case why. So this is the perfect opportunity to pick her up. And please be sure to do so because she's only one per case. So she'll go just as fast as any chase or super chase. And just to tell you a little bit about Lizzie, she's a 1923 Ford Model T with two doors. And she's been living in Radiator Springs since 1927. Lizzie is widow to the founder of Radiator Springs, Stanley. And she still misses him. Now, of course, since she's a widow, uh, Stanley has already passed away. But you can see a little bit about Stanley and Lizzie's story in the time travel, in the Mater's Tall Tales Time Traveler Mater. Now, Lizzie plays a minor role in Cars 2. She's only seen greeting Lightning McQueen when she returns, when he returns to Radiator Springs. Her age shows because she didn't even know that Lightning McQueen was gone. So it was like he was never gone, and she accepted him as though, hey, you've been here all this time. But that's just a little history about Lizzie and what role she plays in the movie Cars and Cars 2. And let's take a closer look at her to see what some of the details are that she has. Now, I expected Lizzie to have shiny paint, but she has a flat, lusterless paint. And... Yeah, I, I like it. I mean, it looks cool, but I thought she would have been a little bit shiny. That would have made her look a little more uh, authentic, I guess. But either way, she's a nice casting. If you look at closely, closely at her wheels, they're very multi-spoke, just like the Ford Model Ts. She has a rear spare tire, which is well detailed. And she has a... I, I, I don't know... Maybe a confused facial expression? You tell me. But this is Lizzie from the Radiator Springs collections. And she's number 13 of 15. And here are some of the other releases coming out for that Radiator Springs collection. And again, I'm going to say the same thing. These have all been released already, for the exception of Lizzie. Lizzie has been released, but in previous years so I don't really count her as a re-release only a re-release from the older uh, generation of cars Flo you saw last year Doc Hudson I saw last year Cruising Lightning McQueen Ramon brand new Mater you still can get he's a part of I think Case T and that's basically it for the Radiator Springs collection and this is Lizzie Okay, guys, let's cut to the chase. That was a joke. Uh, let's talk about Lee Race, which is the chase car for the Y case. And if you remember Lee Race, he was in the small scene where Miles Axelrod is talking about the new biofuel. And he's showing a chemist who is formulating this biofuel. And I believe this is him. This is the chemist in that scene. Now, I'm not sure of how to pronounce his name, but his you see the little apostrophe there, or whatever you call that. Uh, I, I, it looks like Lee Race, but you can also say Lee Racy. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, to me, it looks like Lee Race, so I'll just call him that. But this is number two of nine in the Mel Dorado series. This is Lee Race, and he comes with a little... A flask there with some uh, tubing going somewhere 
and he has a pair of goggles I guess chemistry goggles to protect his eyes and you can't tell in this video maybe you can but up close in person he has some nice metallic glittery paint which it looks makes him look really really cool and it's not just a plain white color and I believe this is a Peugeot car yep it's a Peugeot 207 and this is his license plate there on the back which says AB5 2 TQP whatever that means sometimes they have secret Easter eggs put into these cars license plates you look at the front of him there he has a Peugeot emblem right there on this hood or the front of him nice detailed lights not just a silver color but more of a, a deco a decal applied there and the same thing for the rear tail lights. Now he's not such a big casting. I would say he's about the size of a Ruka or Ichigo, if you remember that from 2013. Not much bigger. But this is the uh, chase for Case Y. And showing here on the back, we just showed you that, so I won't talk about it. But these are all the releases coming for the Meldorado show. Now there's nine. So I would assume that's only some of them. So we have five more that we haven't seen yet. And be sure to pick this up, guys, because it's only one per case. And once it's gone, it's gone. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope that this video has been informative. And these cars are currently available. I picked them up at Walmart. So that'll be the first place you might want to check. And I'm not sure of Targets or Kmarts or Toys R Us are going to get them maybe eventually they will but sometimes these uh, releases are timed at different stores depending on warehouse deliveries and all of that stuff but please be sure to subscribe like share the video you know help your other collectors friends by showing them this video because it lets them know okay it's available and this is what's in the case now these are not all the cars in the case however these are the cars that I've highlighted and I particularly like from that uh, release most of the other cars I'm going to list at the comments box below so that you can see what else is available in that case and thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video